Yeah, what's going on guys? Your boy Vita here back on the Madden 16. Today I'm bringing you guys the next play out of the single bag bunch ace. We broke down a few other, ooh, ace. I got, I probably spiked right there. <laughs> I got, um, got a few other plays that broke down in this formation, so definitely check it out. They're all in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. And uh, if you guys are interested in all the other plays, I broke down. I broke down other plays and formations also in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook, obviously. Then go to my channel, go to playlists, and all the playlists are named after the channel. Or all the playlists are named after the formations I broke down. So today, we are going to be doing the FL Drive, and this is kind of like Y Trails from uh, Strong Close, and I really like this play. I like it a lot. So we're just going to come out an FL Drive. We're going to pick a random play, because it's going to beat everything. It's also a pretty good goal line play. The only problem is it's kind of glitchy because your running back isn't doesn't really block, and I'll get into that in a second, but I block my running back because he'll help with the edge, but he doesn't do anything if they come from the middle, which really sucks. There's like nothing you could do about it. All he will is block the left and the right. He won't block anyone that comes through the middle, and it's horrible. It's really annoying. But we just want to block our running back. To, we, to do that, we're going to hit wire triangle, wire triangle, and then RT or R2. Boom, block running back. And then we want to slant our B receiver. To do that, we want to hit Y or triangle, B or circle, and then a left on the right stick. Just like that, and then we have a slant. So basically what happens is when we snap the ball, the A receiver is going to run up, and he's going to pull the hook zone back. And that's going to leave B open across the middle. But if he if if they don't if they stay down and play the slant, then that's going to leave A open as soon as he breaks. Okay, so you're going to be looking at B and A right away. If neither of those two are open, as soon as you snap the ball, then RB is going to be open as soon as he breaks. And if it's man coverage, X is going to be open, but he's really only open in man coverage. So we're going to snap the ball, and he's going to you're going to see that that zone is going to be pulled back. So we're going to hit the slant underneath, and I'm going to pause it and show you guys. Um, the better the throw power, the better you're going to have a chance at racking because you can get it to them in the middle of the field. They're going to be able to rack up. But you're going to see we snap the ball, and this hook zone right here is going to fall back. He's going to be uh, he's going to sign to number 84 right there. That's who he's going to play, right? And that's going to leave Greg Olson open underneath and Ted Ginn down there underneath. They're both open because Robinson dropped back, okay? But if Robinson were to stay, he were to stay over the middle, play the slant, or play Greg Olson crossing with the deep or with the uh, with the delayed cross, then that's going to leave uh, who is that? I'm sorry, Dickerson. I don't know what his first name is. Dickerson open as soon as he breaks, right about there. As soon as he breaks, he'll be open. Um, so I'm going to run the play a few times and hopefully show you guys every read. And I actually just messed up. So just like that, block your running back and slant your uh, B. And it's going to be a little bit messed up right now because the A isn't as far out as he should be. This is man coverage. We're going to hit our B receiver because there was, it looked like it was a little bit of a blitz coming in. So I didn't want to test the X. Uh, I, I didn't want to get sacked. But um, I'm going to do my best to show you. You see he's going to scream around the edge. That time he actually went and picked up the middle for some reason. I guess he he thought that number some – what is that number? Number 52 was blitzing. But you're going to see that the left side is going to come in clean. And so I'm going to have to dump it off to the uh, slant across the middle. But you're going to see when Calvin Benjamin breaks, he's actually going to be wide open if you lob that up. See, he's running there, and his back, D'Angelo Hall's back. I think that's D'Angelo Hall. It's not. It's Christopher Cullivan, I think. But his back is actually faced towards the way that they're running. Um, so in man coverage, he's going to be open. All you got to do is lob it up to him. So we're going to snap the ball. And this is going to be man coverage. I'm going to show you. God damn it. I couldn't get the ball off in time. Um... But you're going to see that he's wide open, and I lobbed it up. You could probably bullet pass that as well. It just depends on how close they are. If they're pretty close, you want to lob it. That way they can get separation. But right there, I probably could have bullet passed that, and you're going to see he's wide open. No one's going to be able to make a play on it. Just to be sure, I would probably actually pass lead this to the like diagonally to the left, to the top left, by hitting up up and left, you know, the diagonal in the analog stick, you know, up and left diagonal, and bullet pass it. And you're going to be able to fire that right in there for a touchdown. Um, but unfortunately, I got sacked before I could get the ball off. So we're going to drop back, and this time it's going to be zone. And actually, he I waited I definitely waited way too long, but my slant was open, and so was my RB receiver. But just like last time, um, the the hook zone got pulled up from A. So this time, we're actually it's man coverage. I think it was man coverage because number 26 went and covered B. So I just dumped it off to RB as soon as he broke. And it really is just that simple. And this time, I'm going to try and hit X. God, I still couldn't get it off, man. That sucks. Um, but once again, X was wide open as he broke. Um, that's, I guess you're rolling, it, man, this, this play is just, uh, I guess the Panthers offensive line is really trash. But it just seems like you don't have a lot of time in the pocket whenever you run this formation, just to let you guys know. And I've said that before, but this, you really don't have a lot of time in the pocket at all. Like right there, our X receiver would have been open, but we really didn't have any time, so we had to just dump it off to the slant. 
I mean, as much as I would like to show you guys that read and actually get the pass off, I really just don't have enough time in the pocket to actually make the read. That time the pocket collapsed around me, so I just stepped up with Cam Newton and ended up scrambling because I had an open hole. But I'm going to get tripped up. I mean, after all, this is the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook, so I would still suggest having a pretty quick quarterback. Right there, I tried to hit B. RB was also open, but I just have no time in the pocket, um, unfortunately. This formation really, really sucks. Um, to have a, like it's it they really like I, I told you guys Jonathan Stewart you're blocking him he really is very very unintelligent I don't know if it's Jonathan Stewart because I've only ran this like uh, the stuff with him there right now but you're gonna see he just never picks up the person he's supposed to pick up and I'm not too sure like I said I don't know if it's because it's I don't know if it's because it's Jonathan Stewart but you're gonna see no one's gonna touch him this is actually probably just practice mode being practice mode Number 94 is literally going to loop around completely untouched. Jonathan Stewart's not going to touch him. 73 is going to touch him, and 68 isn't going to touch him. No one's going to do anything. And I think I'm just going to blame practice mode for that. Um, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, I just want to let you guys know that does definitely get open. I'm just going to blame practice mode for them not picking anyone up. And that's really it for the video, guys. So if you guys liked the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. And as always, 